Hello all. In this video, we will talk about uh, uh, Scott key termination, which is also called a diode termination. So in the previous videos, you might have seen our uh, talk on series termination, parallel termination, and uh, AC termination. So as the name suggests, uh, the Scott key termination is based on uh, Scott key diodes. Uh, so basically, there will be two diodes that will be placed on the transmission line in the channel between driver and receiver, where one diode um, is connected uh, to a voltage VCC and the another diode is connected to the ground. So uh, if you are familiar uh, with the, uh, the termination that is seen internal to the GP, PAO pins. So, there is a similar kind of termination. Uh, so, uh, as uh, we are saying that uh, uh, this is a Scott key diode uh, termination, the reason why Scott key diode uh, is used here is because of its uh, low voltage drop. So, that's the major uh, uh, advantage of Scott key diode, and there is a reason why it is used here and um, the basic advantage of uh, this uh, diode termination is that uh, in the previous terminations like uh, the parallel termination <coughs> and then AC termination or in fact the series termination that we have seen uh, the major disadvantage is that we have seen uh, uh, the uh, power dissipation across the resistor is one of the important uh, criteria uh, while using those and that's definitely is a disadvantage and if you're having some battery powered applications uh, those terminations are going to play a critical role in the power consumption so um, <coughs> with the uh, diodes uh, uh, dissipating very less power um, unlike the resistive termination we don't have that uh, power dissipation problem um, and uh, another uh, advantage is that we have seen in series termination that the resistor is placed towards uh, the source side and uh, the parallel AC termination are uh, uh, placed towards the receiver side. Whereas the diode termination, because these diodes doesn't have any uh, impedance, right? Uh, so they can be placed uh, <coughs> anywhere on the line. So example, if we see that uh, um, a particular section in a transmission line, for example, if you have a wire and then you see that there is a uh, reflection mainly across uh, that point uh, rather than the reflections from the receiver, then this diodes can be placed across that uh, um, uh, discontinuity and uh, impedance discontinuity point and uh, that's one uh, major advantage um, of this diode termination and <coughs> keep on talking on about the Scott key diode termination uh, we know that uh, uh, Scott key diode um, has a low voltage drop that means when uh, the diode has uh, uh, is turned on the voltage drop is very very less which means uh, um, we see very less jitter um, because of this criteria and then if the diode uh, has to recover that means uh, um, from its uh, uh, condition um, then um, basically it eliminates uh, uh, the rise time uh, of problems. So um, using a normal diode, you will have very slow recovery. Uh, so the fast recovery diodes like Scott K diodes uh, have a significant effect here. Uh, so <clears throat> if a particular condition um, of its uh, um, turn on condition has gone down uh, then it has to recover to its uh, original state right so those scenarios uh, Scott K diodes are the better they are they are known as the fast recovery diodes right so um, there uh, Scott K diodes play a very very important role and uh, um, it is important that uh, uh, we use them <coughs> without any issues uh, other than the normal diodes and uh, how these work is basically when uh, uh, you have uh, a signal that is uh, flowing down on the channel um, this particular diode uh, when there is an uh, overshoot on the channel this particular diode uh, turns on and it clamps to this uh, uh, voltage VCC plus uh, um, the forward voltage of the stroke that means uh, in a particular channel, uh, the uh, overshoot cannot uh, go beyond VCC plus uh, uh, forward bias of this particular diode. Similarly, um, during uh, uh, the condition where there is undershoot, uh, that means uh, a 
voltage lower um, <clears throat> and then this diode gets reverse bias right uh, so sorry forward bias because it's a negative voltage and then uh, you are connecting it in a reverse direction so that means uh, a simple forward voltage drop uh, to ground is what uh, it, gets clamped and it gets clamped under the uh, uh, when there is a undershoot condition. So that's how uh, the Scott key diode works here where uh, mm, the, uh, the diode connected to the VCC helps in uh, overshoot, the diode connected to the um, ground helps in undershoot, a, a very important uh, criteria to be considered. And then the major point is that uh, mm, the diodes uh, here are not absorbers like uh, what we mean by absorber here is uh, when we talked about uh, uh, parallel termination or series termination we said that all the reflections will get dissipated in those resistors and that's how the reflections get eliminated but in this condition the diodes uh, doesn't dissipate any energy it just clamps to a particular level and if there are any reflections on this uh, channel uh, they flow down uh, to and from between the driver and the receiver and slowly over a period of time uh, they get damped down so that means they <clears throat> they go down over a period of time rather than being completely eliminated so if you see uh, understand the previous uh, slides and this particular one we can say that uh, mainly with respect to the signal integrity eliminating uh, the overshoot and undershoot is one of the major important criteria with these diodes uh, whereas uh, the reflections uh, still exist in the channel and uh, they move along uh, um, in the channel and <clears throat> One more point is that when we talked about the series uh, resistance and then uh, um, the parallel resistance, we have talked uh, uh, about matching those resistors with the line impedance, especially with the parallel uh, termination. Uh, so the, the resistors must match with the uh, line impedance, uh, whereas uh, Scott K does, does, uh, doesn't have any impedance, right? We cannot talk about them matching with the impedance here. So uh, it can be used across any line with different uh, impedances. Uh, and uh, uh, one uh, the other advantage is that uh, <clears throat> If you connect various loads across the channel also, um, you need not bother about uh, the impedance variation of this particular channel and you can use the diode at the point where there is a reflection. So that means you can use this across various uh, uh, transmission line impedances and uh, definitely this is a um, biggest advantage. So you need not bother about calculating the resistor and use it, using it perfectly with respect to the transmission line. So selecting the diode is a critical point here and definitely um, a Scott key diode is a perfect option. So normal diodes, uh, yes, if you if you if you are not bothered about uh, <coughs> uh, the rise time, fall time, and uh, uh, like example, if you take the case of a GPO condition uh, and you you and if you are not bothered about the voltage drop of those uh, diodes, uh, uh, then uh, definitely uh, you can use a normal diode. But Scott key diode is. Uh, um, specifically use uh, uh, if you are using a uh, diode termination in high speed designs a, a, a very important termination technique um, unlike uh, uh, the ac termination and all which we have seen uh, where uh, the usage is particularly less scott k diode can be used um, in uh, different applications only thing is uh, if you are uh, too much bothered about the reflections and you want to settle down uh, and uh, um, scott key diode is not the way to go but if you are more worried about the undershoot and overshoot scenarios uh, scott key diode uh, termination uh, is a very important technique to be used uh, hope we gave a glimpse of uh, this termination technique please let us know if you have any questions please post your uh, uh, <coughs> observations any other important points you know about scott key termination for the benefit of others uh, um, uh, thanks for watching this video please like our video subscribe to our channel thank you